Hi guys and girls, it's Talon here. First video for quite a long time, but I've, I've been working on something recently that uh, I thought was worthy of a little video. It'll be quite a fun one as well, which is to do with these engines here. Now this is my little collection of hauls. They come from three different packs. The one over here is the uh, modified haul that comes with Riviera Line in the 50s. This one in the middle is Ravningham, which comes with the West Somerset Railway. And this one here is the unmodified haul which comes with the Falmouth Branch Line pack. Now, to all intents and purposes, these two here should be fairly identical performance-wise. This one here you'd expect to be slightly slower because it's unmodified, but grand scheme of things they should perform fairly well. Now, what sort of got me onto this was I've, I have had quite a few comments and messages saying can you mix from different packs and so forth, and yeah, you know, to all intents and purposes you can. There is one little glitch with that which we'll come on to now. So here we are in the scenario editor. I'm going to grab two of the Kingsweir halls. Uh, right, one there, one facing that way, and one there. I'm choosing these lines because they they both run the same direction. We're just outside Didcot on the uh, the Great Western, if if you want to know that. And give them a pair of tenders. Uh, let's have a look here. Let's grab a pair of Hawksworths. So there, there, I have to spin them around. Give them both a pair of drivers. And what this is to do with is service one, I won't bother renaming them. Let's see, we're just outside Didcot. Service one, we're going to have going into Tilehurst Platform 4, if I can find it. There we go. And the other one, service two, we're going to have going into Tilehurst two. Now, what you'll see, they've both got very, very similar ETAs. This one's due in Tilehurst at 27 past. The other one's due in at 27 past as well, which you'd expect. And if we start this up now, uh, yeah, we'll save that. If we start this up now, what you'll see is they'll both strongly come out a bit so the sound's not overwhelming. They'll both be going exactly the same speed all the way down, which which is fine. So back in the scenario editor again, we'll get rid of this one on the right, and we'll replace it with its sister, which is Ravningham Hall. Now this again comes from the West Somerset pack, so we'll give it a tender. And this is where it gets interesting. So, oh, Mr. There we go, right, we'll give that a driver. These two are identical engines, or in real life they will be identical. Okay, fair enough, one is preserved and one's not, but to all intents purposes they should be exactly the same. So we'll jump on the timetable, go on to service two, which is going to be Ravningham. We'll tell that to go to Tilehurst two to replace the other one. Now, while I'm doing this, what would you expect? Same time, couple of minutes in it? That's kind of what I was thinking. So. When I clicked that, I thought, there can't be a 10 minute difference. Well, if we play this now, and save. Again, I'm going to keep zoomed out because of the noise. You can already see the Ravenham starting to pull away from its sister, and all of a sudden it just <laughs> takes off. It's gone. Now again, these are technically both modified halls, they, there shouldn't be any difference at all between them, but you can see, if we come a little bit further down the line, let's go to this bridge here, you can see by the time we get even this far down, and this, this should be a, you know, a three or four mile journey, that Ravningham is absolutely caning the other one. So back in the scenario editor for a, th a third time, we'll get rid of Ravelingham this time, and uh, it's tender, and we'll replace that with a standard hall, which is the one that comes with Falmouth. Uh, if I can find that really quickly, where are you? Falmouth Hall Engine. There we go. Now for those of you who've watched my previous videos, thank you very much, you'll know that this particular engine is my favourite simply because one of them, which isn't going to be this one, no, has actually got my surname, so I've got a bit of an affinity to it. So, back to this, we'll give that a driver. 
what would you expect? Now, this is from a different manufacturer again. It's not from the uh, the makers of um, the Kingswear one, and it's not from the makers of the West Somerset. Where would you expect this to come in? Would you expect it to be quicker, slower? Grand scheme of things, it should actually be a fair bit slower than the um, than the modified hull, just on the basis it's an older engine and it's not been modified. Well, let's jump on the timetable. And service two again. And we'll have that going into Tilehurst too. If I can find it. Slow south all a bit further, Tilehurst two. And what you'll see is this is actually the same speed as Raveningham. So again we'll play this and save. So here we go. <laughs> it's like watching a really slow Formula One race. And yeah, fair enough, you can see the unmodified really pulling away. So, back again. Now you, you sort of understand the whole concept of this and, and why it confused me. Let's, let's test it with a few others. Now another one that we can test it with reasonably easily is going to be the panniers. So we'll go with the pannier from Kingswear when it loads. There we go. Oh, too many. Get rid of you. Turn you around. And there's a pannier that comes with Falmouth as well, which is that one. So, let's have a look here, give them a pair of drivers. Now, rather than go through the timetable this time, place a bet. Which one do you think is going to be there first? Well, they started the same. It looks like the King's Wears just got the lead. Yeah, he's pulling away. Well, let's go a bit further down. So we've got a little horse race going on here. I don't know who your bet's on. Which one's going to come in first? If your money was on Falmouth... Oh, hang on a minute. If your money was on Falmouth... Is he coming in? Did he speed up? Oh, no! And Falmouth's quite a way behind, so... It's a bit tricky with <laughs> this because obviously different manufacturers and different engines have got different capabilities. Now there are quite a few which are fairly realistic. For example, the Bullet Light Pacific is slightly quicker than the Flying Scotsman. But I've just um, added a load of my packs. I've got loads and loads of DLC for this game. And I thought we'd have a little bit of fun. So let's do a few tests. Let me just scroll down here and find the Saint. Now we'll grab a curved frame Saint. Spin that around, we'll give him a tender, I really don't care which one, that'll do fine. Now I'm going to pit this saint against, uh, if I can find it, a king. Right, so we'll go with a nice express blue, over there, spin you around, we'll give you a, oh, uh, we'll go with a matching blue tender, I could have, could have gone green just to, uh, to trigger people's OCD. Behind you would be handy. Which do you think we'll get in first? Well, here we are illegally trespassing on a train track, so we can hear them coming. Who is it going to be? And it's the Saint. And not by a small amount. <laughs> Here's our King coming up now. Now I know there is the argument that of course the Saints are much lighter engine, it might have just been the acceleration of it because I was only about a mile and a half, two miles down the tracks. However, if we jump onto timetable view and we put them all the way to Paddington, you'll see that the uh, the King is due in at 13.04 and the Saint is due in at 13.05. So yeah, eventually, eventually the King will overtake the Saint by one minute on, an, on just over an hour's journey, but it's, it's just something to be aware of. This isn't a sort of um, anything more than a sort of tongue-in-cheek video, just to forewarn you, if you are building scenarios, definitely watch this sort of thing if you're if you're mixing from different packs. But yeah, I, th I thought it was a bit enjoyable. Anyway, if you'd like to see more of this, like I said, I do have a load of DLC of this game, then I, I can actually do sort of speed test videos as a, as a fun thing to do. But uh, if not, enjoy creating, and I'll catch you in the next one.